Sally, we are now hearing that nine people are dead. We're getting that from multiple law enforcement sources. Um, they're also saying that that number could increase also. Um, we know that one person is in custody. A second person has been detained. As you heard from hospital staff, they have three patients right now. Um, two of them are adults. One of them is an officer. One person is in surgery. Um, one is also a kid or an under 18 year old that is being treated. So the hospital doctors, they got emotional when they were talking about this. And Ali, you and I, we've covered probably more school shootings than we either one of us care to remember. And, it, you know, you see these on TV, but it, when it comes to your own community, like these doctors are experiencing, um, you just never know how it's going to hit you. And obviously it's an emotional thing for these doctors. They're saying that they can take more patients if necessary, but um, it hits really close to home. And one other thing I want to talk about, Allie, when you were talking to Angelica yep. uh, just a few minutes Ninth ago on the phone. Ninth grade students in that school. Yeah, exactly. You know, she was talking about how how she called her mother on the phone and her mom was, you know, kind of walking her through yep. what to do. This is something that we saw with a number of the students uh, at Parkland. Yep. And it seems to be a trend that we're seeing over and over. Students involved in these mass shootings at schools, they are calling their parents yep. panicked. And these parents are telling them either hide or get out of there. And they're staying on the phone with their students and they're getting them through these moments these moments of, you know, crisis and, you know, they're turning to these parents. It really is. And so these parents really are heroes in these situations. Yeah. Hey, MSNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down there and click on any of the videos here to watch the latest interviews and highlights. You can get more MSNBC for free every day with our newsletters. Just visit msnbc.com newsletters to sign up now.